Hi guys, it's Caitlin, and today's video is a what is in my purse video. A lot of you guys have been asking for this, and I posted a picture on Instagram, um, which you should follow me, by the way, because um, I post decent amount on there, and you get to see me kind of more on a daily basis. But um, this purse, I Instagram this purse, and I just think this is so beautiful. I got this at JCPenney for $25. I thought that was a really, really good deal. Um, it was originally $70, it was marked down 50%, and then the lady, when I was checking out at the cash register, was like, oh, I have a $10 off coupon that you can use. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> so I got it, um, instead of $35, I got it for $25, which was really good, I think. Some people might think this is like an old lady grandma purse. I love this. I think this will go with any outfit. I just think it's, the gold detailing is what makes it really classy for me. Um, so I really like that. I also really like about this that it has the two straps so you could go like this and carry it or it has the over strap so you can like have option. I really like that because I like using both because sometimes when I'm carrying my purse around for a long time I want to be able to switch it up so because my shoulders get really sore very easily. Not sore but like they hurt really easily. Um, and it also has a zipper so you can completely close the purse which I like and um, the probably the first thing that you can see is this little hand sanitizer holder I got this 50% off at Bath and Body Works because they were having their semi-annual sale um, I'm really bummed though because there used to be like a little um, puff like there was like this little really cute like I'll put my picture on Instagram there was this little puff and it was so cute it was like a fur ball and it was white and it just looked really cute and it fell off I don't know where it is um, and the hand sanitizer that I have now is strawberry cheesecake this smells so good you guys like it smells delicious and I just want to put it on because I do I put it on all the time just so I can smell my hands like it smells so good it has this purse has this little um it's not a zipper which I don't like which is why I don't really use it because I'm like worried something's gonna fall out but it just has like this little thing right here I could probably put my cell phone in that or something like that um and in the back it has one zipper so I'm gonna start there and see I don't even remember what's in here so first I have a um, tree mirror. I always carry a mirror with me. I just think it's like essential. Um, and I have a, this thing has saved me so many times, you guys, this tied to go stick. And I think it was like a dollar at Target, you guys. If you don't have one of these in your purse, girl, and you are like clumsy and spill food on you, this helps so much. Then I have a couple of random hair ties. I don't know. And I also have a clip. I don't know why I have a clip in here. I really haven't cleaned up my purse since I got it. I just kind of threw everything in here. Um, then I have an Aquaphora. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Little um, lip thing. The Carmex one. I do like this. And I have an EOS. Um, this one's almost gone. Do you see this? Almost gone. And I can do my DIY EOS on it and make my own. Um, and I have a headband, which I'm probably going to take out because, I mean, I don't ever use it. It's just, like, one to, like, pull your bangs back. Um, and I don't use it. Oh, another hair tie. Oh, and another hair tie. Like, do I really need this many hair ties? Really? Another hair tie? <laughs> then I have one bobby pin. Just one. You know, not two or three. Just one. Makes sense. But that was it for that zipper, and I'm going to go into the purse. Um, this is hard to show you guys, <laughs> but there is two pockets up here, and then there is a third pocket underneath that pocket and then there's a zipper here that's it for the internal storage but in this in these pockets in this one right here I have my iPod I always carry my iPod which probably isn't safe but I'm pretty I've never like lost my purse or like left it somewhere um actually I did one time but it was in school but I never left it in a public place then I have some gum in the other pocket and then in case my hands get really dry I have some um gold bond healing lotion just because I hate it when you go out in public and you have like a long day ahead of you and then your hands start hurting oh, it's like the worst thing ever then I'm going into the zipper part now I'm sure ladies can we can we understand what's probably in here but I do have some other random things I have a Victoria's Secret offers book because I have their credit card um, and you get coupons which is cool and I have some medication like look how janky this is like I keep my medication in a bag like I just have some Claritin and then ibuprofen just because I need those things when I'm out and I get a headache and it's just not fun if you don't have anything then I have a key to my PO box if you guys would like to send me a letter that will be below then I have this little thing in my purse which comes handy all the time on my phone here it is um, I actually have a life proof case so it doesn't a lot of headphone jacks and like things like that won't fit into here so 
so you have to this comes with the case that you have to like screw this in and then you can plug in your headphones or whatever it's kind of a pain in the butt but you know it, it's it's worth having your phone protected because I'm a very clumsy person and I drop my phone all the time so this is like I have to keep this on my purse because I listen to songs and music all the time I never threw this away <laughs> this is those little packets that I don't even know what this is for like is this like, I don't, is this to, like, keep it fresh? Like, that's what I want to say, but it's, like, it's a purse. Like, why does it need to be fresh? I've always wondered what these things are, and I feel really stupid saying that, but I don't know what they're for. Okay, that was it for that zipper. I mean, besides the, the lady things, you guys know. Um, and then, then I have my keys. I'm covering up something because it has my city and where I live on it. Um, I don't go to Central, um, what is it? I seriously just forgot the name of it, Central Michigan University. That's how you know I don't go there. Um, I actually got this um, lanyard for free. I went there to tour to see if I may be going there, um, but I decided not to. And this was free, and it's like, girl, it's free, girl. I don't care if I go there or not. And I get people all the time asking me, do you go there? I'm like, no, I don't. Um, and then I just have my cute little dolphin key. Do you guys see that? That's so cute. And I have a little, like, hard, is this, what is this, hard drive? I never... USB? I, I can never remember. I want to say hard drive, but I think that's the bigger ones. I sound so stupid in this video, you guys. Like, I just... I don't know what my problem is. And then this little thing on here is supposed to be a soccer ball. I made this in, like, high school. It was for, like, a stupid stupid art project, and I don't know why I keep it on there. And um, this is my Planet Fitness little ID. It has my city on it. Then I have some cute little tissues that my boyfriend's mom gave to me, and it comes in handy all the time. Good girl, when you got some snot in your nose, you need to get rid of that. Oh, I forgot about this. This is actually a list for my art class that I had. I had to get all this stuff. It was, ooh. I had to get all of this stuff, you guys. Do you see all that? Do you know how much this stuff costs? Like, do you see? Mm. That was not fun. Not fun. If you guys are an art major or planning to go to art, be prepared. That, that stuff is expensive, I will tell you that. Ooh, and then I have um, a thousand, ooh, like a hair all over it. A thousand wishes spray. I love this spray, and I'm going to be a typical girl, and I'm going to spray it on me. I'm actually, <coughs> I just inhaled that. <clears throat> that was really stupid. I swear, you guys, I'm acting so funny in this video. Um, but... I love this spray. I'm actually not really a person that likes these kinds of sprays, but this one has been my favorite of all of the Bath & Body Works scents that I have ever smelled, and so I'm kind of obsessed with it, but I normally never, like, buy these things, and if people buy them for me, I don't really use them. Like, I try to, but it just never really works out. The next thing is freaking huge. It's my wallet. It is the most oldest thing ever. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar, and it is the best wallet ever. I don't want to get rid of it because I love it so much. I just think it's really ugly, but, like, it's awesome. And I'm going to try to cover up my info. How do I do this? Like, this is just not working. The thing that I love about it, though, and that I won't get rid of it, first of all, it has a lot of space. Um, but second of all, it has a coin area. You can't see anything, can you? <laughs> it has, like, a little clasp that you can, like, close and put your change in instead of those zippers. I hate the zippers that, like, you, they're on the back and you have to, like, zip it and put your change in. My change would, like, wind up all over my purse, and I absolutely love this wallet. It's, I don't even know. I tried to actually find it online because I literally wanted to buy another one. It's Studio 33, and I cannot find it online. I don't know, um, but, yeah, I just love that wallet so much. Then I have a pink pen that's really cute, um, and the reason why I have a pen, I also have a pencil in here, right here, is because I have this cute little planner. I am going to start keeping track of my finances in 2015, and so this way I could just write down my expenses and, you know, what I spent on gas and what I spent on food and what I saved, etc., etc., just to be a little bit more... I'm careful with my money, a little bit more frugal. This is the last thing, you guys, other than I have a penny at the bottom of my purse. This is the last thing. This is actually a Lush product that I got for Christmas. It's called Breath of Fresh Air. I actually don't really like the way this smells. Um, it smells kind of beachy, and, like, some people would really like that. But, yeah, it's very beachy. It's kind of, like, sea salty. Um, I don't really care for the smell, but I love what it does. It's, like, just kind of, like, a refresher spray. It's, like, you spray it all over your face. You can do it before or you can do it after your makeup. When I've done it several times after my makeup. It doesn't hurt my makeup. Um, it doesn't do anything like that, and I love it. 
so so much I just I think it gives you such exactly what it says a brush of a breath of fresh air and that was it for my what is in my bag I have been talking for way longer than I thought I have been um, but that just that's just who I am I guess so I hope you guys liked this video and don't forget to tell me what is in your bag I hope you guys have a great day and hold on one minute before you guys go I actually have a surprise for you and I'm gonna try to say it fast because this is supposed to be like a secret thing and I'm going to be doing a giveaway right now I'm going to be doing an elf giveaway and before you say anything please listen to what I have to say very quickly do not post anything in the comment section below about a giveaway don't say thank you nothing do not give it away you guys keep it a secret okay my last giveaway was very open it was very public it was very like giveaway in all caps in the video title so um you know, a lot of people that I had never talked to before, never seen comment on my videos, um, entered that giveaway. And part of me is like, maybe they just watch my videos and they don't usually comment. Or maybe it's just people trying to get free things, which is fine. Hello, it's free things. And I was the one that put giveaway in all caps. So obviously it's going to draw people to it. But this video, uh, or this giveaway, is just going to be strictly um, for the people who actually watch my videos. So just listen to what I have to say very quickly and carefully. Um, in the description box below, you're going to click, you know, open the description box and there will be a link to a video. Um, I actually made a giveaway video and it's going to tell you all the rules and everything. However, I made it unlisted. On YouTube, there are four options for you in uploading a video. I know I'm giving you a lesson right now, but just, just bear with me. There's um, public, which is open to everyone. There's private, which only you can watch it. There is scheduled, which makes it so you can schedule a video to upload on Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning, whatever you want. And then there is um, unlisted, which unlisted means that only people with the link of the video can watch the video. So this video is not public on my channel. People can just go and watch it. You guys have to go in the description box below and click. It's going to, the title is going to be my last video. Now clearly it's not my last video. It's just trying to be discreet so other people don't see. Oh, giveaway link, you know. So what you're going to have to do is just go to that link and click it. And then you're going to be able to just listen to what I have to say in the video and follow my directions in order to enter. So uh, that is all I have to say, you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.